I'm Holly Clegg. I'm Holly Clegg. I'm Holly Clegg. I'm Holly Clegg. Healthy cookbook author and more importantly a mom. And I'm passionate about healthy cooking. I test all my own recipes. Uh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> well, yeah, you're right. I test them all and then I eat them all. We're about to become trim and terrific with the thanks to Holly Clegg and your new cookbook. All the recipes Ooh. have your nutritional analysis and your diabetic change, but the regular food, I don't believe in diets. We all hate diets. We hate diets. <laughs> Please welcome culinary expert and author of Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Guy's Guide to Eating Well, Holly Clegg. Hi, Holly. Yeah, hello. I'll take that. It's good to see you. Everybody ready to cook? Yeah. yeah. Holly, thank you so much. Thank you for your Walmart tomatoes and potatoes. We have got our meat and our vegetables here, and you're going to tell us how to marinate them before we put them on the grill. Right. A key to good barbecue to me is a good marinade. Today I'm going to share with you three joint-friendly foods. I have three simple ways to... And I'm sure you've heard the importance of eating antiox... Not eating. <laughs> Zen, knock it out, Holly. Good morning, Nice Jack. to see you as usual. Oh. You're going to show us some stuff here that you can put together for holiday gifts and it's going to be in that category of low fat and healthy but still good tasting food. Right, see now you don't have to wait till after January 1st to start watching your waist lot. Rule number one, I'm gonna start. You sure you wanna help cook? Oh sure, I'll Come be on, I, I, you have a reputation right. with you. You I can do. at least I pour do. things in. I'm a very talented man. Oh, no, these are not fattening, are they? No, very. Okay, They're only 150 calories in a right, you want me to pour this pour in? Pour this in, and with the bread, you don't need to go and stuff, just okay. pour it all in. All right. You notice y'all have the aprons? Yes. Y'all yes. gonna do all the work. That's what I thought. Okay. Let's go over there. You're going to start chopping an onion. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what's the beauty of soup. It, this is a one dish meal. And to me, one dishes are the answer to the 90s. Holly Clegg made a name for herself with her Trim and Terrific series. But her latest cookbook put her on a new mission. Watch. Like many cancer survivors, Holly Clegg's father, Jerry, had to withstand the side effects of chemotherapy, nausea, weakness, and dizziness. So Holly came up with tasty and nutritious recipes to help her dad cope with the treatments. It worked. Today she has a new cookbook, Eating Well Through Cancer. Hopefully this book makes a difference in people's lives at mm. a challenging time. I love every single thing here. Well, Holly's book is full of nutritious, tasty recipes everyone will love. It's called Eating Well Through Cancer, and it's available wherever books are sold. And I love that this book was born out of the love for your dad. Is, I love is. that so much. I thought I would be scared. I thought I would be... One thing it's shown me is the value of my cancer cookbook. All these years, I've given lectures, I've talked about it uh, from an author standpoint, not from a patient. And I now understand the value it has to people going through cancer treatment because it gives you some guidance and confidence. As you know, we just wanted to cook recipes from my cancer cookbook because we felt that was okay. So giving it a completely different perspective has been uh, amazing to me. For more than two decades, Holly Clegg has been an icon in the kitchen here in Baton Rouge and beyond. She paved the way for healthy cooking across 17 cookbooks, but now she's facing a new challenge, terminal cancer. It also comes with a new mission she shared with me. She was enrolled in a clinical trial, underwent surgery and chemotherapy, but nearly a year of fighting won't be enough to beat back the disease. Her surgeon says, sadly, this is a common outcome in gastric cancer patients. It's Symptoms are cancer, subtle, so it's and it's not, not often diagnosed until States. it's too late. Well, maybe people will understand and and be able to they'll get more research and be able to save more lives, which I wasn't fortunate to be one of those, but somebody else will down the road. Gastric cancer is so rare. As I said, I had zero risk factors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you have breast cancer, they know exactly which chemo to give you everything because there's been so much research. Gastric cancer is underfunded and under-researched. She told TuneIn's John Pasturek she wants her legacy to be about helping to save lives, which is why her family started the Holly Clegg Gastric Cancer Research Fund to raise awareness and dollars for treatments and a cure. I wanted it to go straight to MD Anderson to the research. Mm -hmm. I was in a clinical trial and even though I didn't come out the way we had hoped, they learned from this what they should do and shouldn't do. A lot of people you know, die of a heart attack and they don't get the opportunity to live each day and see what I'm seeing. So that's the route I choose. And I 
you know, it's not a good deal. I, it doesn't have a happy ending, but, you know, if you mope around, where are you going to get? So I encourage everybody out there that everybody gets a diagnosis of some kind, but to keep living and not to start dying. Everybody out there, I can't even thank enough for all the messages. I see them all, the Facebook message, the social media, my blog, everything, because who gets to see that I've inspired people and made a change in someone's life now and I'm getting to enjoy that. 